If you haven't downloaded your latest PES Win magazine, you need to do that now. It's free and it's full of great articles. Uh, I want to highlight one from FT Technologies. So if you haven't heard of FT Technologies, and I don't know, you've been living under a rock, uh, FT Technologies makes the, uh, I, they, I wouldn't call it an ultrasonic wind speed sensor, but it uses sort of ultrasound to create a standing wave that they can then d detect uh, wind speeds very accurately. So it doesn't have the little anemometer spinny piece to it. It's just no moving parts, which makes it so elegant and simple. And it measures uh, wind speed very accurately. In fact, it can me measure wind speeds up to, Joel, now hold on, 200 miles per hour. Wait, I, I hope we're not seeing those at a wind farm, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> But I, but I think that though there's something that's really important here that I would love to see more of components in the wind industry go to. Classical an anemometer. I might say that wrong. Anemometer. They're moving, right? It's a moving part. Like you see them, like you can, you can buy the weather station for your house. It looks the same as the old school ones that are on these turbines that sit there and spin. You remove that, that O&M risk by using the FT technology sensors. Right. There's no moving. There's no moving parts there. You know, they're not going to get affected by ice or snow buildup or heavy rains or like dust or like this or lightning. There's no bearings inside of it to go out. Right. So what we're what they have done here is something that we should be focusing as an industry on all things. Wind industry, wind energy is low maintenance, something that just goes out there and works. And that's what I like to see. There are OEMs that don't use FT technologies anemometer sensors which is insane oh yeah that would be in a, that would be in a turbine rfp if i was writing one right exactly if, if it doesn't come with the turbine you need to specify it and if you're in a repower situation you need to dump the spinny anemometer thingy and put ft technologies on your turbine because who wants bad anemometer wind measurements i joel you and i've seen it if you go to the O and M buildings, a lot of times there's a whole pile of broken anemometers on the of the spinny kind because they either fail from lightning or the bearings have gone bad or something has happened. Why would you even mess with it? Just buy the right technology. It's proven that they've been around a long time. FT Technologies. Read the article. Go to PES Wind. Download your copy of PES Wind uh, magazine. You won't regret it. As wind energy professionals, staying informed is crucial, and let's face it, difficult. That's why the Uptime Podcast recommends PES Wind Magazine. PES Wind offers a diverse range of in-depth articles and expert insights that dive into the most pressing issues facing our energy future. Whether you're an industry veteran or new to wind, PES Wind has the high-quality content you need. Don't miss out. Visit PESWind.com today.